In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Google Drive and get more storage space so that you could store more pictures, more videos or whatever files is allowed by Google Drive. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you are not doing fantastic, just stick with me till the end. I'll do my best to drive that cloud of confusion from your mind. So Google Drive is a very famous cloud storage application by Google and signing up for it is super simple and easy. If you have an email account, that's it. Okay, you could sign up with your Google account and you could log into Google Drive easy as pie like this. So you get on to, uh, you could go to google.com or you could open Gmail, whatever you want. So to make this convenient, I am already, uh, you know, on the search bar for the Brave browser and my search bar is uh, attached with Google. So I could directly do a search for Google Drive, okay? So once we do that, we are going to be directed to this page on which you're going to get an option to sign into Google Drive here. If you're using a laptop to do this, I suggest you don't go to Google Play or you know Play Store. You could actually just uh, click on the first suggestion, get to the website. That is basically what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, so once you are on the website, this is going to be your Google Drive dashboard. And once you are here, Okay, if you do not have an email account with Gmail, if you do not have a Google account, basically, you would be prompted to open one. So basically, your email account is your login to Google Drive. Since I have already logged into my Google account, Google Drive would not ask me for a user ID and password. After you log in, to the left here, you could see that you have a menu and right here to the bottom, you could see that you have 15 GB of space available for you free of cost from Google. I mean, how generous. Google actually gives you free storage for your entire Google application data. Okay, so whatever data you have throughout your Google application is going to be stored here on Google Drive. But sometimes what happens is that you may want to use Google Drive instead of storing files on your laptop or you know any external devices and stuff like that in such cases you could actually buy storage for a very nominal price okay so you could click on buy storage so once you do that you're going to be directed to this page on which you could see the pricing for uh 100 gb or 200 gb it's very cheap okay if you see here since i'm based out of india for a basic account with 100 gb of cloud storage it is 130 rupees per month so this is approximately two dollars i mean it's not exactly two dollars even lesser than that but it's two dollars two dollars for 100 gb of space Okay, uh, if you want to go for the standard plan, it's approximately like uh, $4 per month. And if you need more space, you could scroll down and you also have a premium plan in which you get two terabyte of cloud storage. I mean, this is a lot and this is 650 rupees per month. This is approximately nine to ten dollars. All right. So whatever plan is best suited for you, if uh, you know the free account is not enough, you know 15 gb you could actually opt for any one of these plans out here and the service is amazing the price as i have already explained to you is super cheap as compared to any other cloud storage companies out there so i hope this video answers both your questions if you have any doubts you could ping me or email me or you could post a comment i would do my best to answer any of your questions okay related to the video of course take care Thank <music> you.